mango custard. So these are the materials that we will be using. So we have measuring cups and spoon. Spoon. Pork. Serving spoon. Whisk. Bowl, small to large. And these are the ingredients that we will be using. So we have 6 tablespoons of sugar, 1 fourth cup of water, 3 pieces of egg and wheat gelatin. So we have 2 tablespoons of vanilla. 3 tablespoons of sugar for our caramel 3 tablespoons of water for our caramel one and one fourth cup of milk 1 piece of nestle cream and of course the 1 cup of mungo First, make the caramel. This is the mixture of the 3 tablespoons of sugar and water. After we cook the caramel, put it in a llanera as the base of our mungo pudding. Now, we will make the mixture of the mungo pudding. So first, put the gelatin in a 1 4 cup of water, then mix it well. In a bowl, Put the three pieces of egg. Mix and add the 6 tablespoons of sugar. Followed by the gelatin.
it well and add the 2 tablespoon of vanilla. Mix and mix until all the ingredients dissolve. Of course, we will be adding the nestle cream. Until we mix it well, set aside, then ready for another mixture. So we will be using another bowl. Put the uh, one cup of mungo. Then add the one and one fourth cup of evaporated milk. Also mix it well. For now, we will be using casserole. So first, put the mixture of gelatin, sugar, and nestle cream, also the egg. Followed by the mixture of bungo and evap milk. until we get the right texture which is the sticky texture after that transfer it to the llanera and spread it well First, we will be using another container to place all the remaining cooked dessert. This is the final look of our packaged dessert, and this is the final look of our plated dessert. <laughs> 